Adventures, today's weekly video is on the characteristics, or shall we call it the behavior, of how corals actually reproduce. Uh, some of them split, others create other heads. So I went ahead, I looked at the tank, and I selected a few of them. There's others that are in the process of, of reproduction, uh, but I went ahead and I uh, picked a couple of them that are more significant, more detail of how they actually go about doing the process. So I hope you enjoyed the video and let's take a deep dive. Hold on. Okay, the first coral that I want to uh, draw your attention to that is starting to do the re uh, reproduction process is this blasto. Now, if you look closely, and I'll point it out, um, on the side, there's little buttons. Uh, there's two, two little heads right on the, on the side of that coral. This type of coral, of course, uh, it's an LPS, but these type of corals, especially the blasto, that's how they reproduce. On the rim, on the sides, they uh, start to get like little heads, another head, and then they, they uh, before you know it, you'll have two, three, and four. So we're talking about like right uh, there. If you see that, okay, right there, if you look closely, there's a, another head right below it. So before you know it, it'll be more prominent, and then I'll, I'll go back to this video and shoot another one where it's more prominent. But I thought I, today I dedicate this to uh, the reproduction of corals. So this is the first coral that I thought I'd bring up when it comes to the reproduction process. Now we're going to go to another coral. And now here we have the Recordia Florida. Now this coral, if you go back, to my uh, previous videos way back, I bought this one at Worldwide Corals, and it was just one polyp. As time evolved, evolved. Those little green mouths that you see in the center, okay, those little green mouths, when you see that you get like, like two little mouths, it's about to split. So then when it comes to these types of uh, corals, in general, mushrooms, what they do is, uh, let's say the set coral, just one, one mushroom, one head, which is how I actually bought it. Matter of fact, if you go to my, um, my homepage, my YouTube homepage, the uh, intro is actually on, on this one. And you'll see that it, it was just one uh, head, one mushroom. So what they do is they actually split. When you see two little mouths, they, they actually are going to split. So here you have the after effects of, of the reproduction process. It was one polyp, it split, and now I have two. And sooner or later, the one that you're seeing now, this one here on, on the back, if you notice, it's kind of like elongated. So any minute, it will actually create another mouth and it will actually split, then I'll, I'll have three. So this is the characteristics when it comes to reproduction, when it comes to mushrooms. So now let me take you to another one. Hold on. Okay, now here we have a different scenario. This is a Recorda Yuma. It's a mushroom, but yet at the same token, the characteristics or the behavior of reproduction here is different. So here you have a situation where instead of the, uh, the actual uh, polyp creating another mouth and splitting, it actually shoots babies. So what you have here is the original one that I bought, which is this one here. And then if you look closely to the left-hand side, there's two. There's this one and the other one up there. Not only that, there's another one on the back side that is starting to um, grow. So strangely enough, being basically of the mushroom uh, type, this one actually shoots babies. And yet on the Recordia Florida that I showed you, they actually split. So here you have a difference of uh, characteristics when it comes to the reproduction process. Now here we have uh, Zoanthus, better known as Zeus. This one is more difficult to actually appreciate it, I mean to see it on this video, but how they reproduce, how they grow and multiply is uh, from the base. Comes out like, let's say, like a little string of, uh, 
of the actual polyp and then from that little string or root shall we call it pops out another zoo so that's how these guys actually reproduce if you were to go back on my videos you'll notice that it wasn't this colony wasn't that big it was just what three or four polyps and look at it now they migrated like shall we call it for educational purposes roots it created like like a little roots out of the polyp it attached to the rock and then you have the end result which is what all of you out there are watching as we speak and then finally for the purpose of this video I thought right behind the uh, zoos the uh, cloth polyps the daisy polyps same thing they have the same characteristics similar to the zoantes where they create shall we call it for the purpose of this video a root uh, a string a root it attaches to the rock and then out comes a, a little polyp so like for instance like down let me see if I can point it like right there that's a, a new polyp a new polyp like I said before the same thing like with the zoos uh, it's like a root like a little string a root attaches to whatever it's attached to and then out comes another polyp well that's basically it I hope you enjoyed the video found it interesting educational and fun if you did hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and next to that there's a little bell that's the notification bell so when you hit that it will activate your notification on your device and every time I upload a video it will be the first ones to note that Eddie's Before Korea uploaded a video so like I say at the end of all of my videos happy reefing I hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching until next time bye bye